Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you the Joy of Noel bundle. This is the stamp set and the dies that come in the bundle, and they coordinate together so well. One of my favorite dies in this bundle is the Noel die. Um, it's in this like four square look when you cut it out. It's super cute and I came up with some cards using this. I just wanted to kind of go through those and show them to you and some different ways that you can use that Noel die. We're going to start by stamping this holly berry sprig that comes in the stamp set in shaded spruce. And I'm just going to kind of do that all over the back of my card here, just like that. And then one of the cool things about this set, it comes with this little stamp that has two little berries on it. And those just line up right inside those berries pretty perfectly. So it makes it really easy to color them in. And they're all about spaced the right amount apart. So you can just add your berries on very easily, just like that. So I'll just stamp all of the berries. Okay, so then we're gonna layer on some of this really cute designer series paper. And I have a two by two piece of this gold foil paper. And I'll run through that Noel on this paper. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but I'll show you why that's important. You wanna run it through real close and tight to it. So this is what it'll come out looking like, just like this. We're going to take our letters and set them aside and just use our negative image for this card. I'll just put that right on there. You wanna make sure you keep your little inside to your O and adhere that on and you can use that cute negative image for your Noel. Here, we'll put it on the card back like this. And let me show you that finished card. Just like that. Super simple. And then we have the pieces of the Noel that we can use on another card. I'm gonna bring in some other stamps. This is another stamp that's in that set. It's a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna use Pebbled Path and stamp down right onto Pebbled Path cardstock, going in both directions here, just like that. And then I have pre-cut and colored some of these little holly sprigs so I can make a little wreath right on the front. And I've punched out a circle. And again, we're gonna use that pebbled path and make stamp off, but make a fun little design here. And this stamp lines up pretty well with itself so you can make a fun background, just like that. And then we're gonna layer our Noel onto our circle and use the positive images there with some gold twine, just like that. Let me show you the finished card here, just like that. So cute. So showing you can use both the negative and the positive of that Noel and make two really cute cards. There is one other way I wanted to show you that you could use this Noel. I thought, what's another word that I could spell out of the letters that it cuts out of Noel? And the first thing that came to me was this reminded me of the big love sign that is in Philadelphia. And I thought, how can I make this into the, to say love, like the big love sign. So I cut out those 
same letters, those Noel letters, in real red, just like that. But I'm going to change it to say love here. So I'm going to take my N and I'm just going to cut this little part off. So using my paper snips, just very simply cut that off. And then you have love. So you can make a cute Valentine card or just a card for someone you love with the Philadelphia love sign. I thought that was so cute. Let me show you a few other cards that I've made using this set. We have this Making Spirits Bright. Super fun with a watercolor background. You can also stamp the Noel and have a cute little gate card there. Super fun. I've had a lot of fun playing with this stamp set. I hope you do too. It's about time to start thinking about your Christmas cards and what you're gonna be doing in the next couple months for that. And this is a great option. If you have any questions or are interested in any of these products, make sure to check the links below. We'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.